he's not in like uh, near his ad move mate. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, didn't know you were still there. That's me. Right. Okay. F off then. If you're gonna protest like that, then just go and die. Basically. Just a little heads up, you know. See how these two cats are now being chased. If I'd actually been healing the Jake, he would have been out of there by now. There's a lot of going on at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, from survivors on the Reddit about how this mode is. Uh, not fun for Survivor. And it's kind of painful to read it, to be honest. Because it kind of shows that 90% of the people that play this game don't know what A, an ASIM is, and B, a horror game. It's f***ing tragic, mate. Like, this is the first time I've actually enjoyed this game in the past, like, realistically about five years. Because I did used to enjoy it right at the beginning, but these days it's just dog shit. It's like second chance, second chance, second chance. What do I need to do now to hook a survivor? You know, all this shit, and it's just not fun. That's what I reference when I go on about Gen Z gaming. Because I am 27 years old, you know, turning into a bit of a boomer now, but it's just, it's fucking tragic, to be honest. Should I go and piss this Jake off and save him? Ooh, different map. Okay, we have had Ormond twice in a row. So far. Oh, no. That's a hillbilly. Okay. <laughs> Dude, he's gonna come out of nowhere, yo. It's chasing the Trevor at the moment. At least have that to tell me. Kind of wish it didn't exist, obviously, but it could be right next to us, though. There is that. Carry on, please. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? Why can I see that? <laughs> right. I always find some fellas. Nice. <coughs> I don't know why this is. Ah, okay, so you put. Right, you put candles on gens and it shows them where they are to the rest of us. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's quite a cool strat, actually. So you put, you put your candle on. He's right there, isn't he? Yeah. I don't know if you can see my light. You gonna pick up? Yeah, he is. Can I get away with this? Yeah. Okay, good. Try and go for the save, I don't. Dude, it's so like. Shit. Okay. I don't know where the other girl is. I don't even know if scratch marks are a thing you need to worry about. a long hook she got off. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Okay. 
place the candle. Right, okay, sure. Guess we're in the dark then. I moved out. I might have known to get away with that, but. It's the blue boy. What if Wiggling's shorter, maybe? I don't know how she got off. Okay, they're both over there. Probably not the greatest of ideas, mate, to uh, chase around Hook, you know? I'm gonna not go into second stage here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he knows where they are, I think that's what's going on here. It is. Probably went the other way because she was over there, wasn't she? She was around there. Move. Fucking hell, he's right there. I didn't know, mate, sorry. So one man gen. Mm. Dude, I can't see shit and I love it. Like, I actually just can't see. I'm gonna get this candle. Wait a minute, because I don't know if he's going to be coming back over this way. He's on Zarina at the moment. Jenny there. That's uh, Trevor's Jen. Wave your hands if he's there, right? Again, just gonna go for it because I don't know. Right, he's on Trevor, so he's probably over there somewhere. Good. It's over there. What's Get on this one. Okay, and you're here, sure. He's gonna come straight back over there, though. Both of them arrived. I think we just ran towards him, but it's fine. Come on. One here. He's there, isn't he? Is he? That 
That looks so atmospheric out though. Can you put it on top of it? Just gonna put it on there so it shows them where they are. It's a two man mate. <laughs> Mine's on the thing, can't do it. I don't know what he's doing at the moment though, because he's not in He's not in chase with Zarina. It's so fucking dark here. Yeah. Oh shit, you can actually... Does that delete it? He does, doesn't it? Makes sense. Didn't think behaviour would go that far to put something like that in it. Cheers, game. Thanks for that. Get us blood. Nice. Oh. That fucking move. I'm not taking it there, mate. I'm on death hook. How are you there? Where Zarina is. There. It's a bat. I thought it was a hook. Candle me, please. Candle me. Okay. She went this way, I'm gonna go over here. Zia. I don't know where to hide though, that's... As soon as you hear the, the chains rise on Elder, uh, as soon as you hear the chainsaw, I'm going to get behind one of those trees. Both together. Hmm. That's you. Okay, just jump on it. Jump on it. It's not even the last one, this is it. Oh, it is. Shit. Do you see the light? <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. I'm 
just go I'm just going for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Can't hear anything. She's here, move, get out. Don't see like it's a fucking event, you clown. Fucking hell. <laughs> that was close, he was coming back over as well. Nice one. There it is. Best on the team. It's so good, man. Like, it's actually refreshing to enjoy Dead by Daylight, I have to say. I know I keep going on about it, but it, it just is. It's actually good. <laughs> there you go. Find ourselves at Ormond. <coughs> Trigger everybody with that. I don't actually know how you're supposed to say it. I'm assuming because it's Canadian, it's like, you know, it is just Ormond. Let's find out who we're against. It's a legion. Okay. Did he sound like a fucking robot? Okay, he's missed that. That's fine. I don't know about the horror experience again. As I say, you know, he's not here, mate. I um, know yeah, he is. I'd move, mate. Sorry. <laughs> Actually didn't know he was still there, that's me. It's fine. You can probably see this, Carney. I'm actually gonna Right, he's going for that, so I'm just gonna there he is. Okay, it's fine. Give me this one. We'll try and go for the quickie all in. Because he's gonna get the save, so. Right, okay. Fuck off then. If you're gonna protest like that, then just go and die, basically. I need to drop this candle idea. Just a little heads up, you know. See how these two dickheads are now being chased. If I'd actually been healing the Jake, he would have been out of there by now. He's got his power off at the moment. Jump on here. Unless he's still on him. I think he is. Yeah, he's there. That's fine. Um, can I have a Jenny, please? There's one here. It, he got off? Okay, sure. Be though, that's the problem. Okay. I'm assuming likely to be investigating what's going on over there. There's a lot of bitching going on at the moment, ladies and gentlemen, from survivors on the Reddit about how this mode is uh, not fun for Survivor. And it's kind of painful to read it, to be honest. Because it kind of shows that 90% of the people that play this game don't know what A, an ASIM is, and B, a horror game. It's fucking tragic, mate. Like, this is the first time I've actually enjoyed this game in the past, like, realistically about five years. Because I did used to enjoy it right at the beginning, but these days it's just dog shit. Because it's like second chance, second chance, second chance. 
what do I need to do now to hook a survivor? You know, all this shit, and it's just not fun. That's what I reference when I go on about Gen Z gaming. Because I am 27 years old, you know, turning into a bit of a boomer now, but... It's just, it's fucking tragic, to be honest. Should I go and piss this Jake off and save him? I'm quite far away though, that's the problem. Fuck's sake. Right, okay. Good. <laughs> Let's tell the rest of them to go for that save, though. Yeah. I'm gonna jump back on that. We're gonna rope. He's not still here. Yeah, he's chasing uh, Felix. Right, he's got his power at the moment, so I'm going to move. Yep, he's drop chase. Just give him a shifty D. Shifty D? Shifty W. thing is <laughs> if I'm going to be running shack I don't want to be holding a candle he did come here Okay, good. Both over that way. Okay. I was going to, mate, but yeah, go on. I'm trying to drop this fucking candle. Don't need it anymore. There was a gate over here, he's at it. So I'm just going to run down the corner of the map until we get there. I know it was over this direction. Right, it's the other one, so it's over here somewhere. Don't have to worry about scratch marks. So I'm just going to hug the wall. Should be able to, if I can get far enough around, should be able to just run through him anyway, if he is here. Yeah. The guy's being chased though. I don't know what the fucking timer is. Uh, is he picking him up? Yeah, he is, fuck it. There you go. That's probably my fault though, innit? Based on the uh, <laughs> stupidness at the beginning. It was a TTV Welsh drag. Well, there you go. As I say, um, that's probably... Well, how many games have we played to Survivor on this now? Probably about... Five, realistically? And I've escaped about four of them. So... All this bitching that's going on on like social media about this being killer sided is coming from those people again, innit? Have a GG, mate. Um, 
the ones that don't actually know what an ASIM is and what the power roll is, you know, that kind of thing. Um, for a big portion of the play base, so I'm, not, I'm not saying it's everybody, as I say, but it is the vibe that I get. Is It is a case, genuinely, of I'm too shit at this game, bring it down to my level, you know? It's a bit of a selfish kind of thing, but the devs fucking listen to it. And that's why the game's in such a shit state. That's why when you're playing as killer, you have to now think about DS, you have to now think about off the record, you have to now think about dead ads, you have to now think about all the different saves, you have to manage borrowed time, off hooks, all this kind of thing, you know? And just stupid shit that shouldn't exist in an ASIN. And this mode fixes it, because none of it's in it. The only bullshit thing about this mode is that if you hook a survivor in the end game, they can open the door and they're completely safe. There's no counterplay to it, because they get 20 seconds of um, or a time off hooks in this mode. And that shit can carry on through healing. I don't know if it's out yet, I can't remember which video it's in, because I've been mass recording recently. But there was a video, I can't remember what killer I was on, I was playing as killer, and I went back to the hook. And I ended up chasing somebody who had been unhooked, who so was getting towards the end of the game. I think he had like one gen left to do. And all four survivors were alive, so I tried to get this guy out. Um, and I hit him from the healthy state, and then he was running around for a good few seconds after that. And I hit him again, and he still got borrowed time off. So basically getting three fucking health states off an hook. You know? It's, it's just stupid. And there's also a game as Dredge on Shattered Square, which I remember, where the anti-gen kicking bullshit kicks in, and it basically costs me the game, a game that I potentially could have won uh, by actually, you know, fighting over gens with survivors. But because these kinds of people who bitch and moan about it every two minutes can't handle losing, and, you know, they need the easy fucking wins all the time, I lost my win in that instance because I can't damage gens anymore, you know, for the sake of them. I said it before, man, they're listening, to the, they're listening to the wrong people with this game. I've always been of a mind that if, you know, if you need all this second chance stuff and, you know, it's a serious problem with you, for you, you need to man up and fuck off, quite honestly, and stop playing the game. Because it's not, you know, just play a single player game or something, something you can win at, you know. And again, that's not... I'm not saying it as like an attack in a way. I'm just saying that's what you're better suited to playing, you know, rather than a fucking PvP game if you can't handle losing, you know. That's why I have to fucking stress out in the commentary all the time because I'm, I'm actively being made to look stupid as the killer when it's out of my control, you know. But anyway, that's a rant about killer and all that kind of thing. I'm, I'm trying to say that this is fun as Survivor. I don't, I don't see the negative what everybody's going on about, to be honest. There's also posts, you know, every two, every fucking other day about them being slugged and all that kind of shit, but I've not in experienced that either yet. So, who knows? Hope you enjoyed anyway. I will hopefully see you for the next one. Bye.